Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Katakuri Henge from Shudken Sentai Nin Ninja. I'm finally back doing Super Sentai stuff, uh, and I'm finishing up, uh, doing the Gaim stuff at, as far as, um, the lock the in show series lock seeds i may get stuff from the movies and the gaim gaiman movies uh but uh that won't be for a while now so uh without further ado let's take a look at the box then the included shuriken and actually i should have the core and the shuriken separated and then uh we'll take a look at the katakuri henge okay i'm trying to yeah, this was on. Okay. Um, so here we have the box. Uh, pretty cool. We got a picture of the Karakuri Henge with a uh, picture of Aka Ninja right there. On this side, we have Aka Ninja using it in claw mode. Um, I forget their actual Japanese uh, term names. And then there it is Karakuri Henge written in English right there. On the bottom, we have him using it in bow mode with the others uh, posing. Top is him using it in blade mode. Uh, and on the back is, of course, everything you're going to do with this. So before we take a look at the Karakuri Henge, let's take a look at the included Nin Shuriken, which is the Kin Ninja Shuriken. Uh, the core, or the core, and the blade uh first let's take a look at the core this is a silver uh framed core um and it is a henge nin shuriken you know you got the kanji for yellow keen or key however you want to say that yeah and of course the release buttons right there you do get the button on the back hit it once it'll say his name uh, you do get the face that can flip up for Shuri Kenjin. Uh, when you flip it up, you do get the actual face on the sticker. Uh, very nice. Uh, the Shuri Ken is a squared off Shuri Ken, and this is the exact same one that came with the uh, first release edition of Shuri Kenjin. So, not much difference there. Even down to the stylized ends on either side of the blade. Uh, I just now have two of these things floating around. So put it on, just have it like that, and then twist it. And get the Kininja Shuriken. Very nice. Uh, close yellow for a while. So when you hit the back button, you now get... That's actually the motor of uh, Kininger's Otomonin Dump Maru. Which actually makes for a good slashing sound too, unlike the others, because... Not now. Because I sometimes I really don't like how if you want to have the Shuriken in to be, like, accurate to the show... Um, it has to pause before you can actually do the slash. Um, but this one actually works a lot better for the slash. Like, uh, the Aka Ninja Shuriken also worked, but it was way too hyper. It wasn't, uh, like a clean way to do a slash. This one actually, it is a motor, but it does work for the slash quite a little. By making the camera tip over. God, why does it keep doing that? Anyway. Yeah, it kind of works. It works a lot better than uh, the other shuriken that I have. Especially the owl and shido ninja shuriken. Because those ones just have animal noises. Anyway, we'll do uh, the henge. Now we have become Key Ninja. 
then the Waza. And that's it. Uh, hit the button on the back to remove it. And that's it for the shuriken by itself. I'll set the Ninja Ichibanto uh, off to the side. I'm going to get something to lift my camera up because we're going to be taking a look at the Karakuri Henge really quick. Or right now. So here we have the Karakuri Henge. Um, which literally translates to Mecha Shift Star. Um, which does actually, which is fitting to say the least. Uh, done out in red plastic with yellow plastic as well. Um, there's no paint on here whatsoever, surprisingly. Um, I, at least I don't think there is. Um, it's all plastic, so don't worry about the paint getting scratched up because this doesn't really have any paint. It's all plastic. Like, um, yeah. So, very nice, though. It does have a metallic finish to it. I do like that. Um, you do get the little kanjis for blade, which I think is katana. Uh, and then you get, uh, I think that's, that would be, yeah, that's the bow, which I think would be Yumiwa. And I, I, I forget, um, it'll say it during the attack name, uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, and I'll probably have to put it in the annotation, because I forgot the Japanese phrasing for it. I'm dumb that way. And then you get the speaker down here, uh, this takes two AAA batteries, which go on the handle right here. Uh, surprisingly, uh, the triggers are actually on both sides, so you can hold this with your left hand or your right hand uh, which is actually quite convenient um, and uh, it also makes sense for the different modes because blade mode you have to hold it left-handed for claw and bow mode you hold it right-handed so yeah and then uh, the fourth star since it doesn't house a mode it just has the fire emblem uh, that is also present on the Ninja Ichibanto. So, it's got that going for it. And uh, on and off switches right here. Let's turn this thing on and we will get... No lights, only sounds. Um, right now it is in blade mode. Uh, so, um, to a... F yeah, it, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, you can do the sounds but it won't really make any sense because it's not doing anything right now uh so we need to give it something to do so let's put it into blade mode by flipping out the little uh rubbery blue plastic blade which has a nice a nice little metal flake metallic -y finish i do like that and this is the karakuri henge in blade mode or i think kata, katana mode katana katana mode I, I, yeah i think katana mode and then this mode you actually hold with your left hand uh being that the blade faces downward like this and if you were holding this right-handed um the blade would be facing the wrong direction so uh, you do get some sound effects uh, via the buttons. It doesn't matter which button you push, they will automatically give you the same sound effect. So yeah, you can get get some like slashes. It it the the blade is a lot bigger in the show too, but uh, of course this has to fit inside of the Katakuri Henge, which. I'm okay with it, honestly. Um, it's really hard to shove your fist through here if you have really big hands. Like, you could still hold it, but if you're shoving your fist all the way to get it secured in, 
Your knuckles are gonna be sore, trust me. Yeah, you can get some splashes out of this thing. Very nice, very nice. And of course, you do get the Shuriken port with the stylized N. Uh, again, also present on the Ninja Ichibanto and on the um, Gamagama Ju. So I'm going to use the included Shuriken. You can put any Shuriken you want on here. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a way to push the back button on here. So when you insert a Shuriken, you will get Sakata Kuti. Then hit the button. Well, I was right. It was called the Katana. So you get the Katana Hengen Zan, or I think it's like Blade Transformation Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Um, very nice. Very nice. Uh, I do like this. Uh, so to remove the shuriken, you hit the yellow button that is on the back, and that will release the shuriken. Now to switch it to claw mode, what you're gonna do, there are two black buttons here, and you're gonna twist the handle this way. It will not go in any other direction, it only goes in that direction. So we're gonna do claw mode first. Uh, so to do claw mode, you take these other two shorter blades out. And here we have the, I can't fit this in the frame, the Karakuri Henge. Uh, in its claw mode. I don't know what its Japanese name is called. Uh, but yeah, it does make for a nice decent claw weapon. I do I do like this quite a bit. Um, so you hit the button. You can get some slashes out of it. It is different from the blade mode. to where it's actually like slashing. And it uh, differentiates between two sounds. First it goes, and then it goes. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, very nice. This one I think is uh, the mo more accurate of the forms because this is the more show accurate. Yeah, it is. This one's a little bit more show accurate, uh, this mode, so. Anyway, let's do the Karakuri. Put in the Shuriken. Hit the button. Now that's what it was called, the Karakuri Henge Suve, which means claw. And that attack was Suve Henge Retz, which means uh, Claw transformation swipes. I think that's what it's called. <sighs> Thirsty. Anyway, uh, again, let's remove the shuriken button back here. Pop it off. Next, it's its bow mode, which you want to have the handle like it's in claw mode. So to do bow mode, you Take the claw blades and put them out like that, and there you have the Karakuri Henge uh, Yubi. I think that's what it's called, because that means bow. Uh, now, in this mode, uh, you can still access the claw sound effects, but if you want to do the, uh, the bow sound effects, you need to pull back the this part right here. Which actually sounds like a real arrow. Now, this is the least accurate uh, one because, well, you can tell, one, the blades are supposed to be bigger, and two, the handle is supposed to pull back further than that. 
I would have liked it if it would at least pull uh, out up to like your arm or something. Uh, which is why I liked the Sonic Arrow a little bit more because it actually had a lot better range to pull back. Like this one, you can pull it back, but uh, it doesn't have the same range as how the Sonic Arrow would pull back. Um, and what I don't like is that if you're if you're swiping about in claw mode, occasionally what will happen is is um you'll accidentally uh give it too much friction that it pulls out that handle again but yeah i do like how this one sounds like a real life arrow anyway time to do the katakuri So give you the charge up and I was right. That is the Yubi Hengen shot or Zun or shot, however, whatever the hell it said, which uh, means uh, bow transformation shot. So, so there we go. And that's pretty much it for the Karakuri Henge. So overall, this is actually a pretty cool. Uh, toy and uh honestly it does everything it needs to i do wish some at least the bow mode could have the handle go back a little bit further but i can understand this has to work in the real world so i can understand why it's not doing that so i can get over it but either way this is still a pretty cool toy and i'm gonna pick up a lot more nin ninja stuff I, i'm not expecting anything yet uh but i will um get back to it don't worry i will but uh yeah overall this is a pretty good toy i say pick it up uh so not much to say other than i will see you guys next time take care